Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, guys, we have a few dents on this quarter panel here. See, so we have one over here. So two in total and then some scratches. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for how you repair in the repair video. So we're gonna try to make the best use of these two dents to teach you um, anything that you might have missed or what, what else you need to know. Now to get started on these dents, we're going to be using the Ultra Thing Master. This is a glue pulling kit. Let me open it up and show you what's inside. So inside guys, you have a variety of different size and shapes of pulling tabs. Right, these one doesn't come with this kit. These ones are from a different kit, but the blue ones belongs to this kit. So you wanna use the shape, the size that best fits your dent, okay? And over here we have the glue. That's what you put into the heat gun. It gets hot, comes out like liquid. I'll show you exactly how to do it. And he has tools here that you can use to tap down some high spots. This is the puller. So you're gonna see how I use this to pull up the dent. And this one's also is a puller that you can use to remove, to, to pull out the dent. And here's another one. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you wanna do is clean the surface, otherwise the glue will not stick. Now, once the gun is hot, this one doesn't use a plug. It plugs into the lighter hole and it comes out like liquid and then you will just stick it right onto the dent and remember you can use different size and shapes that fits the dent you're using best right so i'm using the blue one and i'm using the purple one remember they're both from a different kit and i'll show you the difference one is better than the other now once you glue it on there let it dry for a little while and uh, try to slide it off now you realize what happened it just pops right off no resistance at all now go over here to the blue one, which is the better one, it's stronger. And see how I have multiple pulls here. I can pull it, pull it, pull it, until I get it to where I want it to be. Now, once you finish pulling, you can use some brake cleaner and spray it on there and then use this tool that also comes in the kit and pry it right off. Now I won't be finishing these dents completely. I won't pull them all the way out because I want you guys to get some of the bodywork side of this repair. So here is how I got it up. I didn't get it all the way up because we're gonna do some bodywork. Now these are tiny dents that you can fill with body filler and not worry about it cracking or anything like that. I had placed one more on here because I didn't get a good pull on the first one. So I put one more on here just to get this spot a little bit higher. Okay, now we're moving on to the other fun part. Now the first thing I do is I get a block with 180 and I block down the area. Once you block the area, this will highlight that dent where you can better see it and know exactly where you need to put your body filler. And just by blocking it, guys, it looks like we already started the repair with Bondo, right? It looks just so small now. All we gotta do is fill that with one to two coats of body filler and I'll show you exactly how to do it without killing yourself, spending a whole hour doing something that should be done in 15 minutes. Now to get the bundle started, I'm sanding the surrounding area with some 180 grit sandpaper. This way I can make sure that I have proper adhesion. You don't wanna apply body filler on over clear coat or an unsanded area otherwise it will not be sticking I'll be using the rage brand body filler now when you mix up your body filler if it's too blue like this it probably means that you have too much body filler and that could cause pinholes now if it's too gray or too light it might indicate that you don't have enough body filler 
And once you mix up your body filler, make sure that it's uniform. It should be one color. It should not be two color before you apply it on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the body filler exactly into that den. I don't want to go any further just yet. Just like when I'm painting, the first thing I like to do, I like to cover, get some coverage in the repaired area before I actually start painting the whole thing, right? That gives me, that it actually saves time, right? And it gives you a smoother finish in the end, believe it or not. Now, it doesn't matter how you do your work, just make sure you get the same result in the end. This here is a cheese grater. It's very old school. This is one of the things I learned on when I was starting out in this field. It is a very good tool to use. It saves you a lot of time. Now, the trick with this is you want to make sure that you use it while the body filler that you applied is semi-hard. Now, if you have it dry like I have it here, you notice that it's bare, it barely want to cut anything. You have to make sure that it's semi-hard to get the best use out of it. Now, here's another important step. When you're blocking your body filler, make sure you're using a hard block. There is soft black that you can use for wet sanding and buffing, or even just buffing for a blend or paint. But you want to use a hard block. Now, I could use a smaller one, couldn't find it, so I decided to go with this big one. So what you want to do is block in different direction. Don't block in the same direction. That way, you don't eat up the surrounding areas and then it starts to get wavy. So if you do it my way, guys, I promise you, two to three coats of body filler and you're done. Now, guys, notice how the body filler stayed exactly where it's needed, but it's not quite done yet. It's still uneven. We need to get some more body filler on here to make it straight and even. I'm mixing up some more body filler. This is the glaze body filler, the 3M glaze body filler. It's not a lot of body to it. It's lightweight body filler. This is good for the finishing touch with your body work. It's easy to sand and it's easy to apply. Now I'm going to go a little bit further than I did with the first coating of body filler because now I need to get the body work straight and sand it out even. Now guys, just in case you don't know what you're looking for when doing body filler, this is how you want it to look here. See how it looks nice and faded? That's what you want. These areas need more sanding and this area definitely need more sanding. So you want to keep on blocking it flat with the block until you get it to look like this.
we're going to refine those 180 scratches from blocking with the 320. We're going to start with 320 and work our way up to 400. You can even go all the way up to 600. Now try not to dig into it. Sand it nice and flat. Curve the DA in areas that are curved to make sure you get it properly sanded. And there it is guys, that's it for today's video. Made that dent disappear. Now once the primer dries, sand it down and get your paint on it. So I know you guys learned something today. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, class dismissed.